Now in a very different category of illusion, and this is one uh, worth considering because it's the one we tend not to place in this category, and that is the illusion of materialism. This has broken down completely. Uh, the idea that the material world was real sustained the investigation of nature from Parmenides to the early years of the 20th century. Virtually the entire history of human engagement in, in the abstract intellectual modeling of matter, matter was assumed to uh, be pretty much as presented in perception, solid, enduring, having simple location, meaning, you know, it is, it stays where you put it and when you look there again, it's there, uh, that sort of thing. Now, one of the best kept dirty secrets of Western civilization is that the core science, which is physics, the science which was always um, the envy of all the other sciences for its mathematical formalism and its incredible uh, predictive ability, because it's not unusual in physics to predict from theory an experimental result to the third or fourth decimal. This is spectacular congruence between uh, theory and experiment. You don't get that in the social sciences, or even in physical, uh, <laughs> need I mention, uh, uh, even in physical chemistry. However, the investigation of matter has now been pushed to such extremes that matter has shed its easily recognized and familiar face and has become something much slipperier, much more dependent on the presence of the observer, much uh, less easily located in space and time, something much more of the nature of thought than, uh, than of the familiar conception of matter. This word has not reached even as far as biology yet. The biologists are still laboring under the notion of the reality of physical material. Uh, if any of you read this book that was published last year with much uh, to do called Consciousness Explained, uh, actually it should have been called Consciousness Explained Away. Uh, here, here was an effort to drag out all the old material paradigms and uh, uh, explain away consciousness. The problem is uh, matter itself has taken on the qualities of mind. And uh, as this realization relativizes uh, the life sciences, I think there is going to be uh, a new interest in the potential for psychedelics to elucidate uh, mental functioning because what will become respectable, you see, is talk of the observer. This is what has invaded physics, the most rarefied and formal of all the sciences, had in order to make sense of its enterprise, uh, allow the observer a kind of primacy with the thing observed as this seeps into the life sciences and psychology, hopefully the phobia of actually involving yourself in your field of study that informs all these reductionist, ratomorphic types in the schools of psychology uh, will be overturned. Well, uh, having flayed that dead horse sufficiently, <laughs>